Alright, hello everybody, this is I Yell at Puppies bringing you some Battlefield 3 gameplay of Rush on Damavon Peak. And yeah, you know, Windows hate me and my squad in the in Battlefield 3. I mean, we just drove a freaking Humvee, tried to jump into a window into a building, and we all just died. Uh, I, I kind of felt like that was my fault, but in reality, you know, you can't jump through a window. You can't jump through a window. But... Um, it's been a while since I've actually played Battlefield 3. This is, um, I think it's some old gameplay. I haven't played it in a while. But, I was using the M16 with the M203, um, grenade launcher with the suppressor and Cobra sight. And, to be honest, that gun puts in work. Especially with the Cobra sight. I just like it with the Cobra sight. It's like, you know, pretty damn badass. And I changed my voiceover language to, um, to Russian because, you know, you get bored of the game and it's like, what? I don't know. I just like to trip myself out with the whole Russian voiceover. And I think, um, at some point in this game, I, my, I was playing with a buddy of mine, Trey. My buddy Trey. Uh, he's right there in the, in my squad, Psycho Killer. Um, I think at some point in the game, it, he shoots, he takes out a chopper with his M416. And by that, I mean, he shot the pilot and the chopper, like, blew up. It's pretty damn badass, and it was his first time playing hardcore, so he was like, "Whoa! I just took down the chopper with that my my M416," and well, yeah, it's just you know you get that feeling with the first time you play hardcore. But um, I haven't been playing lately because uh, I've been busy, um, just in general. Um, I graduate, I think like three months from now. Uh, graduate high school, I'm a senior. And while we're getting that whole thing sorted out, I mean, today we were going to buy our cap and gown, and we just order them online. Well, not online, but we just order them, and we fill out this order form and stuff. And today was the makeup day, because last week, I don't know, well, a lot of people lagged it, in other words. But last week, you were supposed to turn in the original order form, there was, like, no line for the order form and stuff. But the day, I wasn't, I wasn't at school that day, so I got the makeup and decided to come on the makeup day, and, you know... Everybody was there on the makeup day. It was full as hell. And it was just like, what the hell, man? You know, you guys were here that day. Why don't, uh, you know what, whatever. You know, <laughs> if they were here that day, just get your shit together and turn it in. But then now it's among them. But hey, I had a good excuse. I was here that day, so I didn't understand the whole makeup order form. But yeah, um, they were taking orders at lunchtime. So then I went there during lunchtime, and the line was just fucking ridiculous. And I was like, well, by the time I'm, I'm, you know, if I get in the end of the line, and by the time I, like, even halfway at the, at the beginning of the line, um, lunch is going to be over, and they're going to tell us to go our sixth period, and if I will come back their sixth period, like, could, because I TA for my sixth period, I'm a, I'm a teacher's aide for my sixth period, and I don't really have much to do, so I just tell the teacher, like, yo, you know, I'm going to the library or something. And in reality, I don't really go to the library, I just go home. <laughs> Since it's my final, it's the final class of the day, and the t the teacher knows that, and she's like, "All right, see you tomorrow." And I'm just like, "All right, cool." Um, but I just said, you know, if I'm a, if I go to the library, if I'm go to the library six period anyways, you know, why not just do this during six period? So, you know, as lunch was progressing, the librarian was like, you know, if you don't have campus release, if you're, you know, you got to go to your six period. You can't just chill in here and expect me to write a pass because I ain't doing that shit. Well, she didn't say it like that, but, you know, because I ain't doing that shit, you know, what the fuck, I ain't responsible for your asses. You guys are old enough to know what's up. So then a lot of the kids just leave, and then I was just like, all right, well, I'm just going to go into my sixth period, check in, come back. But the thing is, so I tell the teacher, we had a substitute teacher, and he takes roll down on the piece of papers and blah, 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 whatever this is. And I was just like, oh, I need to go to the library anyways. I'll, while I'm taking up the roll, I'll just go to the library and turn in my order form for my cap and gown. And he's like, all right, that's cool, man. But no, then, like, let me let me count them out. One, two, three, four, five. Well, like, about six people decided to tag along with me. Then I was just like, wow, all right, whatever. So then he writes a pass. He just, he doesn't even write down the names or anything. He just writes a pass. And he's like, all right, here, take these to the attendance office, and then you'll you'll be good. So then I go to the library, because those they, those guys wanted to go to the library first, and then they were like, all right, you know, we'll wait for you here. And then I just like, all right, I'll leave my order for them, put it there. And I went to the attendance office, and then I came back. And when I came back, I, you know, presumed my line normally, like, all right, I'm, you know, getting ahead of all you motherfuckers, because I said I wanted to come. You guys decided to just tag along. 
So I was ahead, in, so I was next in line by like six people. So then, you know, there's three ladies, you know, taking the, taking the, um, you know, filling out order forms and taking money and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, there was a line of probably like, probably like 40 people. That's still a lot of people. So I was like, wow, that's a lot of people. So these are all the people that don't, that don't have, that don't have a six period or they TA, they already checked in and stuff. So I was like, all right, that's cool. You know, we'll just I'll just stand in line and everything was moving in orderly conduct. But what I noticed is that there was like people just kind of hanging around the line. They were just pretending to fill out order forms and stuff. And I was just like, hmm, that's odd. Well, I guess I'll just get in the back of the line and then, and then, you know, I waited in line for like about a good, you know, 30 minutes. That's probably like half the class time. You know, I could have been home by then, but I was just like, all right, this is something you got to do, whatever. And then I was really, really close to, you know, getting my order form filled out. And just people decide just, you know, two girls, you know, they're, 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 they're pretty. They're okay. It's not okay to freaking jump in line just because you're pretty, but, you know, they're okay. Like, you know, they're pretty. That's, I just described them. A fat one, that's a bitch. She, she was a bitch to me because I remember once I was, um, I was going to walk into the classroom and I asked the teacher, it's like, hey, yo, you, you know, you need anything for me to do? He's like, oh, yeah, just pop the door open so the kids that are going to the restroom, you know, could come back. And then I was just like setting up the door and I was setting up the door and I was having trouble setting up the door because I had a shake in one hand and my binder in the other. And I was like, all right, you know, trying to get the chair open, trying to do all this. And then the, the girl just walks in and she's like, all right, take your time. Don't worry. And I'm like, all right, thank you. And then my shoelace gets caught in the with the chair and the door and stuff so then i was like all right you know what? let's just relax so i just put down my my cup and everything my cup my binder i get down on one knee and start untying my shoe it's like oh my god she said oh my god you know i wasn't really serious you know what the hell and then i was just i, I just gave her a look then i was just like all right whatever you know what i was thinking in my mind i was just i'm propping the door open for your fucking recovering you know great recovery fucking dumbasses trying to graduate on time i'm trying to prop the door open because so you guys can get back in the fucking building but yeah I, um the class i teach for is um, some great recovery class for all those you know kids that don't i mean i was in that class at one point but i got out and there's kids that's like three months to graduation and there's kids still in there but i'm TAing and stuff so back to the original story i was you know three people away from the line those four girls jump in line and the girl in front of me is just like you know what the hell like what is it they're just jumping in line they're not helping the problem you know it's like really what the fuck's going on now just like you know what just relax just they'll get what's get coming to them you know you know their order forms will be filled out pretty fast this and that she's like fuck it i'm going in the other line you know he was waiting in line for a while and she's like all pissed off i mean hell i was fucking pissed off to a maximum and I was just pissed off, pissed off, just bitching the entire time. And I was just like, oh my god, oh my god. But then, you know, it's like, alright, it's not a lot of people, this and that. So, more people start jumping in line, more of their friends. So I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? What is this nonsense? I hope you guys die in a fire, you know. And I think they heard me because they just turned around and they were like, whoa. And then I was, I was all pissed off. And I was talking to my friend behind me and it's just like, oh my god, wow. And... Finally, some girl kind of, you know, behind me or like in the now line over me, you know, said like, oh, recognize like, yeah, you know, they're jumping in line. What the fuck's going on here? And then, and then I, then I was like, you know, what the fuck is this nonsense? You know, we're all just tripping. I was like, what the fuck? Blah, blah, blah. Just kind of, kind of like, you know, cussing and shit like <laughs> in the library, kind of low key and stuff like, fuck, fuck, fuck. And, you know, the girls were fucking oblivious to everybody else being kind of ticked off around them. So, whatever, it's, it's going on, whatever, you know, I was like, all right, you know, I'm really close to getting my form signed, you know, just two more people now, two more people, two more people, and then I start noticing, I've been, you know, less than a meter away to get my form signed, and I've been sitting here for the longest, you know, a good 40 minutes passed by just standing in line, and it's like, it was faster for me to get from the end of the line to the table, but... I'm like so close, I can't get my order form signed. And I was just tripping, like, I was like, all right, what the fuck, what the fuck, dude? There's something wrong here, you know? And it turns out they were fucking jumping lines, this and that. So the girl that kind of noticed me getting ticked off, that decided to tag along with me to begin with, she's like, all right, why don't you just take my spot? I'm going up next, 
and this and that. And it's like, you know, you could have, you should have been out of here first, but you had to be like a good person and go turn in the, the order form or go turn in the attendance and cause you're, you're pretty cool and you let us take your spa. So then I went there, took my form and you know, the lady opened up, I just handed my form and since I left my form blank, you know, cause people were doing the math wrong. So I noticed that, that people were doing it blank. Um, I mean, people were doing it blank. People were doing it, the math, like right there during in line. Cause I had mine since like, I didn't fill out mine. Mine was like last minute. I just turned, put in the credit card number. And I was just like, all right, just I'll leave it blank. Let them fill it out. It'll be easier for everybody. So then it works out. I went home and it turns out, you know, I got home by the time school started. So I was there from like half a lunch to for a whole class and school ended and it's just like wow what is this stupid nonsense you know I was just cussing my way home just walking home all pissed off and you're like I could have been home you know 30 minutes ago could have been home this could have been home that and yeah that's just that's just me anyways this has been an end and um now ah, you guys can watch me get that chopper just <laughs> watch me fail and fail but at, finally I'm just like yes got that motherfucker you know chop fool don't steal my chopper dog <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that was my little story for today, and uh, it's been a while since I've actually done um, a commentary, and I'm not really prone or uh, you're used to doing commentary, so if I was all over the place on this one, then, you know, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm hoping to get better, better commentary skills at some point. Alright, thank you, this has been I Yell at Puppies, and, um, you know, thanks for watching.